the Lockerbie bomber. It was a year ago today that Mr McCaskill took the controversial decision to release Abdul Basit al-Megrahi, who has prostate cancer, on compassionate grounds. I was happy to meet Congressman earlier this year. I'll be prepared to meet Senator Mendes if he goes through the appropriate channels. And as I say, we have nothing to fear as a government because we followed the laws of Scotland. It was my responsibility, my decision. But as I say, they have an absolute assurance. It was without any consideration of diplomatic, economic or political matters. It was based on the rules relating to compassionate release and I'm proud to be able to act in a government that operates under such laws. Well, Kenny McCaskill was speaking to our political correspondent, Glenn Campbell, who joins me now from Holyrood. Glenn, how significant is what Mr McCaskill said? Well, I think it's interesting that he's prepared to meet with Senator Menendez because the Scottish Government has already made crystal clear that it will not accept invitations to send witnesses to appear in person at a special hearing of the US Senate's Foreign Relations Committee looking into the decision to release the only man convicted of the Lockerbie bombing. Why? Because Scottish ministers say they and their officials are accountable only to this parliament here at Holyrood. And the SNP has published polling that it commissioned from YouGov today which suggests that almost three quarters of the 1,200 or so people surveyed in recent days, adults in Scotland, that they support the government on not crossing an ocean to account for this decision. However, ministers are keen to be seen, to help and to be open and that I think is why Kenny McCaskill is suggesting that he may be prepared to have face-to-face -face talks with Senator Menendez. It's an offer the First Minister Alex Salmond uh, has also hinted at in the past. If Senator Menendez is prepared to come to Scotland, he, the Senator, has suggested that he may be prepared to send evidence gatherers to the UK, but no indication as to whether he himself will come to personally interview witnesses. This has been a huge controversy over the course of the last year, but today Kenny McCaskill insisting it wasn't a decision based on political, economic or diplomatic considerations, but on compassion alone. And although McGrahi has outlived his three-month prognosis four times over, Kenny McCaskill says it was still the right decision and he stands by it. Glenn Campbell, thanks very much. Four out of ten Scots homes have still not signed up to broadband internet, a far higher rate.